Welcome to On the Spectrum. I'm your host, Terry Matthews, and this is the show where we inform you, entertain you, and encourage you, yep, about all things autism. We like to call it Prescription TV. Every Tuesday is our do-it-yourself project, and today we're gonna show you how you can be a creative genius right in your kitchen. Joining me today is Chef Rashawn, who will be helping me make a gluten-free, easy meal known as chili. Right? Yes, we are going to be making a sweet potato black bean chili today. Oh, this is going to be good. Listen, so my kid was a kid that was a gluten-free child, right? right? And he was for several years. Now he eats a little bit of gluten. Okay. We know for you out there, some kids are gluten-free, some are not. But this is just an excellent, healthy, easy meal, right? Right, pretty much. I mean, this could pretty much go for anybody who has um, gluten-free allergies or anybody who's really trying to be healthy because it all coincides together and comes together for adults and children. Yeah, so see, I love, it seems like you have some awesome ingredients. This is like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes and, and yams we and, have. And what is this? Oh, we have black, um, black beans for us. black beans. Yes, they're good, high in protein. Yes, and then what is this over here? And then we have our stewed tomatoes over here. Okay. And we also have a yellow um, Spanish onion that we're going to use, and we have brown rice. Okay, so is this complicated? Because even like all. busy moms like me, I need stuff that's like quick. How can we make it? I see this salt. We're gonna sprinkle a little. Oh salt yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get the little salt on. Okay. But it's, it's real easy. It's very it's under thirty minutes. So um, it equals out for people who are busy. You know, I know like yourself is always on a run. Yeah. Um, for or for anybody who just wants a really quick meal that we can deal with. So not only can my kid now we know that kids are picky eaters. So some of these ingredients you can actually keep out or just a, a healthy food for you as a mom. So a kid might eat sweet potatoes, but you could eat the rest of this. As right, mom, exactly. Right? I mean, you could add anything to this meal. I mean, it doesn't have to be sweet potatoes and yams. It could be zucchini. It could be spinach. It could be anything that you want. Well, we, my kid's a pasta kid. Can I add pasta? You could definitely add pasta to this. So come on, let's get All started. Right, let's, let's do this. To, I want to taste this to stuff. All right, so we're going to add a little olive oil, yeah. some healthy fat there. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. We're gonna add our Spanish onions in. There's a such thing as healthy fat? Yes, there are healthy fats. You can use avocado oil. You can use olive oil. Um, now that you have the coconut oil that you can use. So it comes out very well. Now we're gonna add our yams and our sweet potatoes to it. Ooh, this smells uh -huh. so good. Now, oh. did you cook these yams first? Yes, you want to always cook the yams first. You want to dice them, small dice them, and you want to blanch them off in salt water until they become a little bit soft. Okay. And then you can finish the rest inside of the dish. They're good just plain. That's good. So now we're going to add our protein, which is our black beans. I love black beans. Right. I'm not sure my husband loves that I love black beans, but I love them. <laughs> I hear that. So now we're going to give it a little bit of a stir. Now you get that, you want to let it cook a little bit. Okay, so so for moms out there, right. dads out there, if you can't do all that fancy thing, just get the good old fashioned spoon. Get That's the a little, it little, little spoon. You know, you gotta you gotta <laughs> add a little something to it to show everybody. So now we're gonna add a little bit of granulated garlic. That looks good. All right. We're gonna add some Italian seasonings. You're gonna toss that together. Next, we're gonna add a little pink Himalayan salt. Boom. All right, now that we have all those flavors, now you want to build your flavors. That, that allows you to smell the different levels and it brings it um, intensity out of each vegetable and each protein. See, I never even knew that. So there's yes. a method to the madness about when to put the seasons Always, in. always. Okay, for you busy parents out there, don't worry about that. <laughs> so now we're going to add a little bit of chili powder to it with our tomatoes. That's pretty good. All right. So, so let's take a look at what this finished product looks like. So we're going to bring it out. Ooh. Here it is. This looks so good. That's, that's it smells good. good. Yes. Little brown rice in the middle. So there's avocado. avocado. Your healthy fats. Oh my goodness. Mm. I wish I could share this right now with absolutely everybody. Great flavor, bold flavors, and it's healthy. So this is important too because for parents, sometimes we're always eating on the go. We need something that's healthy. And um, this is a pretty quick, easy meal. A lot of these things you have right in your own home. So if you're interested in trying this project, log on to www.terrymatthewsonline.com where you can download step-by-step -step instructions, all the ingredients, and you can make this in your home as well. There's also some expanded information how you can manipulate or change the ingredients to make it right for you and your family. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on The Spectrum.